Lapras, and this is how to use Levani. Now, Levani is a very, very interesting Pokemon. Um, it's got 92 speed, 130 physical attack, and 75 hit points. Now, actually, I don't have a nature on there, do I? What do I want? I want a... Oh. If I could, I'd have a hit, hit point in my increase in nature, but that doesn't really work. So, careful nature is probably what you want. I thought I'd put a careful nature down already, but, eh, alas, it's not a problem. Oh, well, anyway, so, from what you want to do with this set, you've got Focus Sash, and basically, you're going to be, you're going to be either, um, getting rid of your opponent's ability, or you're going to be, um, bad and poisoning them. And if they don't go for the, um, all that attack on you, you've got that off, and then you've got, um, two attacking moves. Um, you can also substitute this for Leaf Blade. If you have a look there, you can also substitute that for Leaf Blade, where that gets immune by Sap Sippers. And but this um, kind of deals with that. So X Scissors is quite good to carry, Leaf Blade's good to carry, and you can't even go for Heal Bell instead, this just being full utility. So if you're gonna go for the Heal Bell Heal Bell bit, you bring Levani in mid to late game or mid game. Uh, you've got a couple of status Pokemon on your team. You bring in Levani, it uses Heal Bell, Focus Sash Procs, you use Toxic, or they knock you out, depending. And that's basically um, my generic way of running the Lev Levani. Um, I think this way is alright. Overcoats means you don't take um, damage from. You're immune to Powder Moves and you don't take damage from Soundstorm or Hail, um, which seems good enough because it means that your Focus Sash won't be broken by that. Then we move on to um, the Choice Scarf. Um, you don't need to go Chlorophyll with this one, um, but it, eh, if you go in Chlorophyll, you could probably go for a Choice Band, couldn't you? If you go Chlorophyll Choice Band, and then you put that next to your Ninetales, running Drought, of course, and then X Scissors the Turn and Leaf Blade. I haven't done like these for this set. I thought I had. Oh well. Anyway, it's basically 252. 252, 252, 4. Because you don't need any extra speed. Because uh, if we bring this down to level 50, just to take a look. At level 50, you're going to be getting 224 speed in the sun. And that's putting you in a very nice sweet spot. And you want to put the extra investment into the... Um, hit points now. You can take some from your attack, so if we went down to 220 and then stuck stuck 32 IVs in speed, that would um, boost you up a bit. But I think the investment in the attack's better off because um, Chlorophyll's just great. Yeah, and that's basically your set two. You run Coverage, Shadow Claw, Leaf Blade, Return and X Scissors. Two stab moves, um, a move, just a generic good move, and then an another generic good move. Shadow Claw can also be substituted uh, for something like Sticky Web or um, what was I looking for? Bug Bite. You could put Bug Bite on this set and have it um, like eat, eat the opponent's berry. So you're low on health. Okay, you use Bug Bite. You eat your opponent's citrus berry. Or you can carry you can carry Secret Power. I guess it's an okay move. You're probably better off like. You're probably best off running, uh, what, what was it first? Poison Jab. Probably best off running Poison Jab because it will help you kill fairies. I've always got a problem killing fairies, so I like to carry Poison Jab in a lot of sets or another po strong Poison type move. Since I don't, I don't usually use a Poison type, but I will always carry a Pokemon with a Poison type move as my dedicated fairy killer. And then we've got the Life Orb Chlorophyll set again. And I um, actually have to go and do some weird battle calculations on this. And um, 88 is your sweet spot on the speed. Um, you want to stick 48 into your special defense to give you at least some survivability. 120 into your hit points, um, meaning with, coupled with the special defense. If you're hit by a special attack, you're going to be a two-hit knockout unless it's um, four times super effective. So if you're not being hit by fire or flying, um, you're going to be a two-hit knockout. Uh, if you're hit by a physical attack, you're going to be a two-hit knockout unless it's fire or flying. Or 
unless it's super effective, um, you're not going to be knocked out by, by a physical attack in one shot. Um, if it's um, if it's uh, if it's four times effective, you'll be knocked out. Otherwise, you're going to survive um, on relatively low health. And then um, you can just admit that you're going to be going slower, um, and then lock into the um, then go for the exorcisms um, after your opponents hit you. But I think chlorophyll works better because you'll get two hits in rather than one. And then of course you've got your nine tails setting drought. This is doubles, of course, but it can be singles. It's not as but not as practical singles. I'm not sure. Does Blissy? Oopsie, he's got two eyes. And apparently I can't spell Blissy. Does Blissy get sunny day? Yes, it does. So this is what I'm thinking. You lead with your Lavani. Where is it? You lead with this Lavani. Um, it has its focus slash proc and its um set toxic. You switch out into Blissey with like normal EVs. Um, Blissey sets the sunny day and then goes for healing wish. And then you bring in Livani. Um, it's fully healed. And then you go for an Exorcist or you go for a Worry Seed or a Heal Bell. Um, it just gives you. It just gives you more um. What's it called? Usability on the um, setup one. Um, instead of um, heal bell, you could also run sticky web. Um, but it depends on what you're trying to do. That is how to use um, Levani, guys. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, if you've got any, um, like, I don't know, interesting things, go ahead. Um, thank you all for watching. Fear the Titan. I will see you all next time. I was Rock Lugovis. Goodbye. Let's <laughs> go.